Because Soroke Konemo is so close to the EMP, I wasn't going to review it, but a lot of people ask me about it, so I'll go through some differences. First of all, the sensor and button latency is the same, both really good. Watch the Kone EMP review if you want to see that. And the size guide is roughly the same too, but the mouse feels a little bigger and a little more comfortable in palm grip for me with a roughly 18 by 9 cm hand. Keep that in mind and you should be able to figure it out. Okay, differences. First, they've given a thumb a button for the easy shift, which is good, but again, that means we can't use the side buttons while using the easy shift. I still think a button at the front here would be better. Next, the side buttons no longer have a gap. They're easier to press in and feel much better, although the travel is a bit far. I definitely prefer these overall though. On the right side, it's basically the same, but now there's a gap. That would have been fine if the button was there, but now it's just a potential annoyance. If someone wants to put their finger there, it won't feel good. Same with the extra line here. I don't think it's necessary. This is what happens when you overdesign a mouse to look cool. I wish they'd learned the mistakes from the Kova 2016. In fact, looking at the base, this has some similar features to the Kova. Thankfully, this one's a lot more comfortable. And that's also thanks to my favorite part of this mouse. Rockat now actually have comfort grooves. I've been asking for this for so long. It's so great to see them finally try it, and they feel really good. Rockat, please keep doing this on your mice. I love it. And I like the strategy of having a bit of a raised slip. It should prevent slips, meaning it protects the mouse wheel and DPI buttons. Okay, now for the RGB lighting. It's still not 100% smooth, probably about 95%, but it is way better than the EMP. Looks cool, and the grooves don't feel too bad. They might be a little uncomfortable for some people, but overall they're fine. I thought we would get more customization in the software, but this is all there is. You can set a theme, but you won't get the cool rainbow movement. So it's good, better than many other Rockout mice, but could still use some work. Now here's a quick listen to the buttons. So they're all good, no accidental clicks, but the standout here is the mouse wheel. Tilt left and right, and it feels solid, giving us steps while also feeling smooth. Rockout makes some of the best wheels on any mice. Actually, in my opinion, they might be the best. So plenty of buttons on this one, but the leader is better, and actually slightly lighter, as this one weighs over 130 grams. Obviously not a big difference, but given the leader is wireless, you'd think this would be lighter. Personally, if I was serious about this kind of mouse, I'd save up for the leader. Really enjoyed using that one. If you want a more comfortable and heavier Kone EMP though, then the Amo could be a good choice. Great quality in a lot of ways, lots of great features, just too heavy in my opinion. And this cable isn't as flexible as it could be. Hope that helps, big thanks to Rocker for sending it out for a review. If you want to help support the channel, I'll leave the usual links in the description. As always, subscribe, like and share this video, and I'll catch you in the next.